Hi, my name is Liz and the name of this channel is Nothing But Bags. I call this channel Nothing But Bags because I don't really have a lot of interest in other things, uh, fashion or luxury related. When I'm getting dressed, my outfits are an accessory and my handbag is the main event. If this is your first time clicking on one of my videos, thank you so much for watching. I sincerely appreciate it. There's a lot of content that is uploaded on YouTube every single day. And the fact that you selected this video is um, appreciated from the bottom of my heart. If you're a returner to this channel, someone that has subscribed already or one of my friends, thank you so much for your continued support. I appreciate you dropping down in the comments section, letting me know you stopped by, having dialogue and conversation with me. Thank you very, very much. So the title of this video and the thumbnail are Purse Peace versus Purse Prison. Um, what on earth does that mean? <laughs> So um, a lot of the people in the handbag community, I hope this video is not going to be me just rambling. I'm going to do my very best to keep this video short and concise. A lot of the people in the handbag community that I subscribe to and follow seem to have a reoccurring theme throughout our videos. People talking about um, overconsumption, sustainability, do we have too many bags, should we sell, um, is it because we're at purse peace? We've reached a place in our our um, handbag collecting where we feel like we've got all of the bags that we genuinely need, bags that fit our lifestyle and our aesthetic, and we don't really need to purchase any more bags. We understand that we'll see bags that we like from time to time. That's natural because we love handbags. But for the most part, we're happy with where we are versus purse prison. Um, I love my bags. I'm happy with what I have. Um, all of the bags that I've collected work well for my aesthetic and my collection. Um, but I want more bags. I want to purchase bags when I see things that I like that pop up on my feed, when my favorite designers come up with new lines or new uh, new designs. I want to be able to purchase those bags if I see something that I like. I want to be able to buy what I want to buy. And I have to put myself in purse prison to ensure that I don't buy any more bags because I have enough. And I'm teeter-tottering between those two places. I follow people like Melissa Adams Wade, who has made a low buy year for herself. She has financial goals and plans. She loves the bags that she's um, collected so far. She's done a very good uh, intentional job about being very... Um, aware of what colors work best with her, what bags she reaches for the most. And she's being very specific about the bags that she's going to purchase this year. Um, people that are like bags and lifestyle that has asked us to um, shop our own closets. When you're leaning towards making a purchase of a new bag, instead of looking at that bag, look at your collection and see if you have any bags in your collection that already meet that need or already itch that scratch, scratch that itch. <laughs> Um, people like Whitting Chic that have asked us to look back and see if there is a bag in your collection that you were in love with at one point in time and you're not in love with anymore. Ask yourself some questions as to why you fall out of love with that bag and can you fall back in love with it? Um, so a lot of people in the in the, the YouTube handbag community, especially some of the larger uh, YouTubers and the ones that have these very um, expensive, uh, very vast collections are selling their bags, um, doing, um, uh, I forget what those sales are, but uh, vlog sales where they're getting rid of some of their bags because they recognize they just have too many. A lot of them that are constantly acquire, acquiring bags um, and purchasing new bags every single week, um, multi-thousand dollar bags every single week ultimately do some type of a clean out at some point and just kind of wipe out some of the bags that they've collected. So I was thinking about all these things and I'm going to put a video in this video of me unboxing the Coach Soft Tabby. I fell into the FOMO thing, right? Um, there's the Coach is inundating us, our feeds on Instagram and on YouTube with the new uh, denim collection. Everybody that I follow, Makiva Monroe, um, L, uh, Lady Lady B, um, uh, uh, fifty and fierce and fifty plus. Um, what I'm on today. All of my girls are buying the denim. The girls that I follow, the girls that I watch, the girls that I love are buying the denim bags and the in the new um, Coach collection. So we're being inundated with these bags and I, I follow AKB bags and she put on her community wall that 
the denim soft tabby was available. And almost as if someone had taken hold of my hand and my phone, um, it was in the cart and purchased before I knew it. And it was for fear of missing out. It was genuinely because I didn't want to not get a bag in this denim drop. Even though right before that, I already decided I'm going to either uh, accept purse peace and enjoy the bags that I have, or I am going to put myself in first prison. Because I'm at a point now where I have so many bags that it is overwhelming. Sometimes to make a decision and a choice of what to pick. Um, I don't have a lifestyle where I'm doing things and going out enough to get good wear out of the bags that I have. Um, so I need to stop for the simple fact that I need to start loving on the bags that I already own. Carrying bags that I've literally never carried before. Um, carrying bags more than once that I've only carried one time. So looking at all of those things, I'm teeter-tottering between this purse piece and purse prison. And the video that I'm putting in here around now about this soft coach tabby is, you're gonna notice that I'm unwrapping it and I stop because I start to wrap it back up again. It was wrapped so well. Neiman Marcus did an exceptional job in wrapping this bag. It was, I've never bought a bag from anyone that was that well taken care of. And so I couldn't really show it or do a full unboxing of it because I didn't want to completely undress the bag because I wanted whoever purchases it again to get the full experience that I was, was getting basically. So I decided to send that bag back. It's, it was fear of missing out. That's why I bought it. I already own a denim bag, which doesn't really fit my lifestyle. Just keeping it a full book, Rec recognizing some of the errors that I've made in making my handbag purchases. I bought a Tilfar denim shopper, a small shopper. And I've done some videos about what fits in my bag. I show um, some mod shots of me wearing the bag because I recently wore it for the first time. And I wore it for the first time because I hadn't worn it and I was genuinely trying to start using my bags. And I realized that that bag doesn't fit with my aesthetic. I don't like bags that don't have detachable and or adjustable straps. At the minimum, give me an adjustable strap. You've got to do that. And I bought all of these shoppers. I have three of these um, Telfar shoppers in the small size that I don't reach for because the, the straps are not adjustable. It's just that simple. It's a small bag in size and shape, so it fits more with my crossbody type of style, and I can't crossbody it because the strap is too long, and I can't adjust it. So um, I have a denim bag, but it doesn't really fit my lifestyle. So I was thinking this soft tabby, at least it has a removable adjustable strap. Um, AKB bags also negatively influenced me to buy the rainbow strap from Coach that I have no bags to go hardware to uh, to accommodate. Um, it's her fault. I'm going to blame her. Um, but uh, I ended up buying that as well. And I was thinking I was going to use that on the Coach soft tabby. But the reality of it is, again, I have enough bags. I have a very well thought out collection. I've made some bad choices. I admit that. And I hate to say bad because with the Telfar bags, I didn't buy them because of the style of the bag. I bought them because they were from a black owned design house. And I felt like if I was going to spend my money on Louis Vuitton and Chanel, Versace, um, uh, Gucci, the least I could do is financially support um, black owned design houses. But the reality of it is I also need the bags that I purchase and invest in to work within my lifestyle and my aesthetic. And those bags simply don't. So that's why I bought the bag, but I'm returning it. I just came back from uh, FedEx just a moment ago, um, taking the bag back because I don't want to have another bag that I'm not reaching for. I just, I, I saw Lady B's video where she was unboxing the Hayden, the Coach Hayden bag. So there are a lot of denim bags in this in this iteration of this release, right? There's Coach Tabby's. Um, there are um, the Soft Tabby. There's the, the Quilted Tabby. There's the Heart Shape bag. McKeever Monroe just did an unboxing of. There is the uh, Hayden bag, which is that kind of um, wild on chain style, envelope style handbag. And they also have a bum bag. And I noticed that when she posted and negatively influenced me, it's her fault that I ordered the next bag I'm going to tell you about. <laughs> That's why I need to be in purse prison. It ain't purse piece. I need to be in jail. Um, she posted that Amazon had all of the denim collection on it. So I immediately ran over and saw that the, um, the bum bag was available. So I ordered that one. 
I ordered that one though because I do have a denim bag in my collection, but it doesn't fit with my aesthetic. I do know that bum bags are something that resonate with me. Um, they're very, I have a very transactional lifestyle that I've talked about several times on my channel. I do a lot of errand running. I work from home, so I'm home 90% of the time. My social calendar is very limited. We don't go out, but maybe once a month, if that much. Most of the time, if I'm going out, it's to run an errand. So I like bags that are very carefree and that are hands-free and that I can run errands and go to the store and stuff in. And bum bags really resonate with me. So I did, instead of getting the soft tabby, I sent that back and ordered the belt bag that's supposed to come Monday. I ordered it from Amazon on the seven day try on as well. Because if it doesn't look like I want it to look on my body, if I don't like the style of it or the, the material, I'm going to return that. Um, I really like the soft tabby for the dark wash, that dark indigo color. That's denim to me. That light wash isn't. So the bum bag is lighter wash than that one. So I don't know if it's going to work, but I'm going to try it. I said all that to say, and I hope I haven't gone on too long. 2,000 years later. I said all that to say, I'm not in purse peace, I guess, because at the end of the day, I see bags every single day that I fall in love with and that I like. So I'm not in purse peace, unfortunately. I wish I were, but I am going to be turning myself into purse prison. I am going to be reporting to purse prison. I've been there several times before, so the people at the jail know me. Um, I'm one of the ones that come, every time I come in, they're like, are you back? I thought you were gone, you back. Um, a couple of times I went before though, I was turned in by my wife. She turned me into purse prison because she was like, it's too many bags coming in here. I see the price tag. I know how much they cost. Um, you got to cut it out. You got to get yourself together. You cannot spend every dime you make on handbags. Even though you make it, you can't spend it on that. Um, so she turned me in the last two or three times I went. Um, this time, I think I'm going to be turning myself in. Um, I think I need to go to purse prison. I need to enjoy the handbags that I own. Uh, and I, have, I, I need to carry those bags. I, I need to use the bags that I have. And so I need to go to purse prison because I need to stop using, stop buying bags. So this bum bag that I, that's coming in on Monday from, um, from Coach, I'm going to use you all as my accountability partners. That, my plan is that that's going to be it for a while. Uh, I typed up a whole inventory in Excel, all of the bags I have, what the cost was. The total made me lose a little bit of my breath. Um, but all the bags that I bought, when I bought them, how much I spent on them, and I've got a column for the dates carried. And I want to watch and see how often I carry those bags, which bags I carry the most, how much I gravitate to them. I'm going to see if maybe I need to sell some of my bags. Maybe um, I need to reduce as opposed to adding on and just kind of customize my bag, my, my collection a little more and make it a little more, well, better curated. It's a lot of content creators out there that are giving us alternatives to the Coach Denim Collection. Um, Vivian Carlene is doing that. She's giving us options and alternatives to those bags. Um, Dre Loves Bags, I believe her channel is. She's giving us some alternatives as well to uh, to what to buy from the Coach Denim Collection. I like that Lady B bought something on the lower cost end. Um, and she did that because she has a lot of denim bags, but she still wanted to get some value out of the collection. So uh, there are a lot of alternatives uh, to the more expensive bags. Um, there are a lot of alternatives to falling into the hype of these releases that do come out. Um, but for me, I think this bum bag is going to be my last one and I'm going to start enjoying the bags that I have. Anyway, um, I hope I didn't go on too long. If I did, hopefully you did like I do. If your attention span dropped out five, ten minutes ago, you just cut the video off. Um, but for those of you that stuck around to this point, thank you so much for watching this video. It is sincerely appreciated. Um, if you are trying to, if you're teetering and tottering between purse peace and purse prison, drop down in the comment section so we can start a support group. Um, I can use all the support and help I can get. Thank you so much for watching. Have an absolutely wonderful day.